100,000 students in California who take reputable courses in California. Well, Central Coast News believes to build a stronger community, you must invest in it. And that's why we created a $1 million community investment. And tonight we provide a media grant to a group who's there for children during an emergency. It is called Teddy Bears with Heart. Brianna Bermasola tells us what they do and how and why the group needs your help. Firefighters and medical teams are often first to the scene of an accident. But I'd like to introduce you to one member of the emergency teams across the Central Coast you may not have met yet. Weighing in at only two pounds, two inches, the teddy bear may not be the biggest member on the team, but he's one with a very important job. When we're dealing with them, again, we just provide to them a little distraction, comfort. A lot of kids are, are um, very afraid of any stranger, no matter who they are. Bringing the teddy bear is a uh, way of knowing that I'm there to take care of them and not hurt them. That's exactly what Susan Hansen had in mind when she started Teddy Bears with Heart. She already had her own collection of bears, and she wanted to find a way to help others. That's when a light bulb clicked. A firefighter had tried to help a child that was stuck in a car. His parents were already out. He was trapped, couldn't get out. It was very, very inconsolable. And he went out to the truck, got a bear, brought it back, and the child was able to calm down. They got him out and got him help. In four years, Hansen's delivered 6,000 bears to emergency responders with the help of volunteer drivers like Salinas and T. Lee and Contepe. I know the importance of bringing comfort to children. When I heard about Teddy Bears with Heart, I immediately wanted to help. Hansen said as long as there are kids in crisis, she'll keep giving. And that was Brianna Berman Solar reporting. Teddy Bears with Heart is kicking off its donation drive. It can really be any small stuffed animal. There are several drop-off locations, and you can go to kcba.com to find the location closest to you. Make sure you click on the $1 million community investment link at the top of the homepage and search for Brianna's story.